Hi again, part two. We're going to talk um, about requirements now. How do we get requirements into our model? How do we show them on a diagram? And a little bit how we use them. So um, let's see here. So here's an example in class showing you the activity diagram we just did relate to requirements. Okay, and requirements are obviously very important. Um, and uh, so um, like in the behavioral diagram uh, where we had, uh, so here's some uh, requirements uh, fr from a table that you've created from the um, use case behavioral diagram, child uses catapult toy. Uh, you had basically swim lanes, the child, the system, projectile, and then you put the requirements in here. And you may have actually created a few new requirements as you saw fit, okay? Maybe they were, we call them derived requirements sometimes. So uh, I'm going to show you how to basically create a, this type of a diagram here in your model, which you can then use later on. So um, when you, um, you can create a folder called requirements um, just by going back up here to model and saying uh, new, uh, new element, okay, package, okay. So you create a new requirements and you can start uh, creating a requirements table. Uh, if you go over here to, um, I believe it's in here. Oh, it's under diagrams. That's right. Uh, I think you click here, you go create a diagram. Uh, you saw, you see SysML. Uh, let's see, down here, you can see uh, requirements. Requirements here, uh, uh, refine requirement containment, you know, uh, so you can create a requirements table here, and there's also a requirements diagram here, okay? So those are the two things we're looking at. So here's the table. And basically uh, what I did is I went to my spreadsheet here and I put that off to the side somewhere, and then went up here to at the top where it says new item, and I basically created a new requirement in here, and I dragged and dropped the names, okay, that I already had created in there. So. Um, so that created these here, okay, in the table. So I've got the requirement folder, I've got the requirement um, table or matrix here, and I actually dragged and dropped, uh, in, inserted the requirements XL sheet. You can do that too right into your model, so if you want to keep it all together, okay. So now let's create a requirements diagram. So let's Come over here, we'll do a right click, we'll say create a new diagram, and we'll go to requirements diagram. Okay, and I'm gonna call this uh, toy. So this is uh, requirements, it's in a package called requirements, so this is the name of the package, and it, it's coming from a package, and I'm calling this particular diagram toy for toy requirements. So all you really have to do for this assignment is basically drag and drop, or you can even create them uh, here by creating new requirements here. If they're not in here, you can always come here, click on here, and you can say, you know, new requirement here. And you can you notice how it numbers them automatically. You can add some text in here. Okay, so 15 showed up down here, okay? And that's really all you need to do for our requirements diagram right now at the point. Later on, you're gonna learn more about containment, how you can have a hierarchy of requirements, and then these requirements will be used later on um, in your modeling um, as you can allocate those requirements to uh, both uh, the use cases and to uh, blocks and structures that show uh, what's been satisfied and also verification. How do you create, you create test cases and then you can say what test cases verify what requirements. Okay, that's all I got for now guys. Talk to you later, bye.